hello once again, my friend. Here we are. Last time, we got sidetracked. We got attacked by the Thunder Gods. The Thunder Gods and the Rain Gods didn't want me to finish this video, but we're here again in a different, new, sunny location. I'm gonna be continuing this drawing that I started before. I got some Prismacolor pencils. My favorite kind of pencils outside of the regular black graphite that you're used to using. These are Prismacolor Premier pencils. I don't know if that means that they're any different from the regular Prismacolor ones. The part of this drawing that's already completed was started when I was having dinner with a friend. And coincidentally, it was raining that night as well. We were drinking beers at a local brewery. It was nighttime. I think it was a Friday night. And she was sitting there chatting about uh, flag football or something. And I really enjoy drawing my friends whenever we're out eating, drinking, sitting around. And I just started doodling. I started doodling. And I guess they're kind of these generic poses, these generic sort of facial expressions and body positions that are just stashed away in my memory. After doing this stuff for a while, after making paintings and drawings and, and sketching people over and over again, thousands, hundreds of thousands of times maybe, definitely not millions, you sort of start to get a pattern and you kind of, it ends up becoming a muscle memory. One easy way of creating focal points in, in something that is kind of abstract is to draw faces. If you draw a face or a person, that's always gonna anchor the image. One artist who has been on my mind recently is Yayoi Kusama. Her style involved a lot of, involves a lot of repetition, a lot of, a lot of repeated, deceptively simple patterns, deceptively simple strokes. And she'll do that for, I, I don't know, days, weeks to create these things that are like these sprawling, enveloping, fleshy, textured patterns that, that exist in space. Her work got really popular recently with her Infinity Mirrors series. And that's how I, that's how I learned about her. Didn't know about her before that. Powerful story of an immigrant in the U.S. That's very near and dear to my heart. Any immigrant artist, especially the black ones. This color right here, this is, a, this is a surprise for me. I didn't expect to be doing this. Using this light aqua. This color that we're getting right here is a, it's a really nice contrast. And the texture of it on the paint, this right here is acrylic. And we're going over it with that Prismacolor Premier, which is giving it It's giving it a really nice texture. If I press down, it's gonna get a little darker, but not that much. Or a little more um, intense, sharp. And the reason you're seeing that little residue is because it's a, it's a soft lead. Harder leads are, they're not gonna leave the, they're not gonna leave that little residue. Like I said, if you just, you can shave it off with your fingernail. It's uh, it's soft. This right here is really fun. This is 
more Kusama-esque uh, paint strokes where this whole this whole thing of black is just like neatly like layered on. Right here there's something really great happening with um, whatever tool I use to create this orange. If you look really closely at this, you'll see that it's, you can see the bristles, how the bristles left all of this stuff and on the edges, it's all dry right there. So the majority of the pigment was right here. I love these, these kinds of details. It reminds you of like, uh, like Saturn's rings, whereas like you, if you look from afar, it, it just looks like a, a, a regular band of color like this. And you can't see, you can't see paint strokes on here because I use the palette knife. So it looks like a band from afar, you get up close and then you're seeing all the particles and all that shit. I love that, love those details. Thank you for being here with me, for watching me draw. I uh, got a couple of announcements for you before we head out. I'm going to be teaching two classes, one and two at the University of Maryland. Which one will you attend? They're virtual. That means you can attend them if you're in Iceland, if you're in Haiti, if you're in Jamaica, if you're in Japan, if you're in Italy, you can attend this course. You can attend this course if you're a student. You can attend this course if you're not a student. You can attend this course if you're living, if you're dead. I really hope if you're dead, if you're a ghost, and you sign up for this course, I'm gonna be real excited. You know what I'm saying? I really hope to see some of you in the class. Them seats are gonna go fast, because don't forget, you're competing against University of Maryland students who are gonna be going in there so they can learn how to make self-portraits as well. Whether you're a beginner, a pro, an expert, a legend, I will sit there with you in a very casual, conversational, fun environment, and we're gonna make some self-portraits. You will come out of those classes having self-portraits to show to yourself and your family and friends, whoever. Right now, if you go to domraburn.com shop, you can buy this beautiful print. You'll be able, able to hang it up on your wall, framed or unframed, glossy or matte, whatever you like. What do you like? You want this on your wall? You can have that. There's other art on there too, on my shop, domraburn.com shop. There's apparel on there. There are also digital phone wallpapers. That's pretty cool, right? Phone wallpapers you can put on your phone. You can put on your desktop if you want to, but you're probably gonna want it on your phone because the aspect ratio is made for your phones, made by me. All of these things help support me and help support the larger things I'm trying to create as well with my company, Blue Cerberus. We're working on some big, big, crazy shit. Awesome stuff that's happening. with partnerships with brands and artists that we're creating with Blue Cerberus. And I'm really excited to see what, uh, to see what we're gonna make and to show you all what we're gonna make. Thank you all for watching, thank you for being here, and I'll see you next fucking time.